Hello friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at Polymer 3 and the Lit Element base class. Um, so Lit Element, um, rather than extending from Polymer Element, we can now extend from Lit Element. And this is going to give us some advantages um, in terms of performance. Um, so it's much similar to, say, JSX, um, but at the same time, it's um, inbuilt to JavaScript, so there's no build step required to use lit element. Um, and yeah, it should give us better performance and certainly the experience of binding um, and expressions and directives um, seem seem very good in lit element. So let's uh, let's jump in. Now I've got Visual Studio Code here, so I'll just start by creating. Um, on my app. Now to bring in lit element, we just need to import lit element, and that is going to be from at polymer and lit element. And then similar to um, using Polar Element, we would create a class with our app and extends. Uh, but in this case, it's going to extend lit element. So all the um, all the other Polymer um, functionality is present. The uh, the only real difference we'll see is with um, the render method. So you know we would still have you know our constructor maybe uh, we call super. Um, and we can set up properties in there um, and you know we could have a get for our properties and say return a score like that so those those things are the same now previously if we'd extended polymer element we would do something like static get template um, and return Um, a value here like so um, but now what we'll do instead is we will override a render method uh, and that will return um, a tagged template literal which is basically this string with the back ticks um, prefixed with HTML um, and if we just put our score out the score is now to bind here, we're just using um, normal JavaScript syntax to do um, template literal uh, interpolation. So we can just do the dollar open parenthesis and score. Um, you know, previously we would be doing something like this in Polymer um, or double moustache like so for two-way binding um, so that's that's gone and we're, we're using much more standard JavaScript which is nice um, you know so it's not not really another thing to learn if you know tag template literals um, then you can just put these values in um, so that would be our render method and we would no longer need this get template okay um, and we would have a normal get name to my app um, and then register as normal. So this would be my app dot is and uh, my app. Now we I did forget to import the HTML part, so we need lit element for this part and the HTML for here. Um, but that should be as basic as you could get approach. Um, now, with Polymer 3, we do need a build step now because of this. Um, the browser won't understand. Um, where that is you know a browser will need a relative path so it it will need more like um, you know node mod 
jewels like so um, but as polymers come into this sort of mainstream um, importing by package name we do this but that needs to be resolved um, you can you can do it with the polymer CLI or you can do it with webpack um, I'm going to just do it with webpack here today um, so let's save this webpack dot config dot js um, so our entry is going to be um, my app dot js and we'll just output Main, uh, main .js. Okay. Um, let's give that a go. I'll just put it into development mode as well. So right. If I would pack that now, we should get something coming out into dist. Um, okay, we've got to add, got to add polymer. Um, so yarn add polymer uh, lit element. Like so. so that'll bring in lit element and polymer and um, web components JS for the polyfills. Now I'm going to run it in um, Google Chrome, so I won't need to bring in that polyfin. But if you were in, say, Edge, you would need to. Um, let's create then a simple file to display this. And so we need to pull in our component, and that is going to be in dist and main.js uh, we need to say it's type module and then we can put our app on here and try and build that again oops Okay, so we've got a disk created. If I push that over here now and bring up browser, and let's just knock this down a little bit. And pull it over. Right, so if we just bring up a dev server here on AD80 and go in there, we should see an error. Score is not defined. Right, one thing I keep on forgetting is with this now, compared to static get template where you could access the properties um, without doing anything else. We've actually got to pass them in here. Um, now, it's an extra step, but it's, it, that is how the performance part of lit HTML works in that it knows which values will need updating and it um, keeps a pointer to these sections. So whenever we update something, it's only going to go in and update that little bit. Um, so there's no tree traversal going on. Supposedly that is the advantage over JSX. Right, if I give that another build and a view, we've still got score is not defined. Turning object Ah, 
Did I not save it? I suspect so. No, it did save it. Score, score, score. The score is here. Why is score not coming up? Let's do full refresh. Yes, okay, thank you. Okay, now it's not giving us a value for score, but we can set one up in the constructor. Um, so give it a value one to start and build that. We should see the value one coming in here. Yep, score is one there. Uh, let's just try and make that a bit bigger, shall we? Um, so, although we're in a JavaScript string here, you will notice I have got not only, say I, I put a div in, you can see it's highlighted. So we've got HTML highlighting in here, and with the lit HTML Visual Studio Code plugin, I can almost get, I can also get um, completion. So if I do div and tab, I'm getting that Emmet completion in here. So I've got a good, um, a good experience, good developer experience inside here still. It's not, you know, previously when we went from HTML templates to um, JavaScript, you lost, you lost some of this ability um, and, you know, that, that was tougher, but now it's just like you're in a, in a HTML file. Um, so if I just put my score here inside the div, and we'll just make it a H1, I think. Like that, that should just make it a little bit bigger for us. Okay, so. That is good. Now, if um, if we just want to see that score property working, we can come in here and put it to ten to start with. Ten. And give that a refresh. Okay, so the property on here um, is taking precedence over our default property in the constructor um, and it's getting shown to the screen um, via this render method. So that is the very basics of uh, lit HTML, sorry, lit element. Um, lit element is part of a lit HTML project. Um, I'll try and do another couple um, um, uh, videos on this, um, you know, in terms of how we do event handlers, they're, they're nicer as well, and expressions as well, much nicer. Um, so, yes, yeah, so some good stuff to come. If you want to see that, then um, click the subscribe button below. Um, but apart from that, thanks very much. Bye.